Yeah, I think what God is saying to me at the moment about who he is and how we can really worship him at the moment, with the whole lockdown and life just stopping, everything that we knew before just pausing, outside of our control. I think what God was really saying to us is just this reminder that He is at the centre. He is our foundation. He should be our number one priority. And so this slowing down that we've experienced at times has been painful and has been uncomfortable, but actually is not something that we should give up as we move forwards. And as we continue to look at how we can slow down, how we can reduce the things and the distractions in our lives, how we do that can help us to continue to focus on God as our number one going forwards. So as things have been stripped away and our opportunities to worship together corporately, where music has become so important to us, I guess what I feel God is saying is that there are so many other ways that we can encounter him and yet we don't need to lose the sense of music and we don't need to lose that sense of corporately gathering. There are ways that we can still get together today that might be in person, it might be digitally, but there are so many things that we can embrace as the church right now. We can still be the corporate church. We can still use music, we can use that together, we can use that by ourselves. Worship music can be so powerful just to play in your house and just to encounter God even when you're by yourself. And there are so many other disciplines and habits that we can take on board and perhaps embrace in a way that we haven't really appreciated them before. And so just times of silence, of solitude, of being by ourselves, of fasting, of doing the things that have been uncomfortable before, but perhaps God is really shaping us and asking us to embrace these once more as we really focus on him. Mission, I think, is God's heart for people who don't yet know him. And God is always missional. God is always on the move. And so we as the people of God, when we think about mission, I think it's us partnering with what God is doing as he looks for and seeks to reach people who don't yet know him and how we can share his love in all sorts of ways with those people. That is mission. I am so encouraged by what our church has been doing and the people that we've been able to reach online at this time. And we have a wonderful building where we often have people walk in from the streets where we're able to share uh, with them about Jesus. But what we've really found is that there are people connecting with some of the online stuff who would never have walked into a church building before. And so God is using this time to break down those barriers, to break down the barriers of people needing to pick up the confidence to walk through the doors of somewhere unfamiliar. He's reaching them right into their homes, right into wherever they are with their digital tablet or phone or whatever it might be. And so God is on the move. God is reaching people. He's chasing people down and he's using this time really powerfully and we can join in with that and we can be a part of that. When I think about the church and the Baptist church more broadly and mission, I think one of the things that is really key, not just now, but for the church at all times, is to recognise that the church exists for people who aren't yet a part of it. So we are here not for ourselves. It's great to be here on a Sunday. It's great to meet with people who I'm friends with and be alongside people who I already know. But actually church is about reaching people who don't yet know Jesus. And so when it comes to mission, I think there's an opportunity now for us to change our perspective, to change our our focus and not be looking at internally what the church can do for me, what the church can do for us. But actually, why not? We're out of the building. Let's think about what the church can do for those outside of it. One of the things I've been thinking a lot about lately is about values and how we can really simplify our lives around our key values and what it is that we really want to stand for. And I think even though I've been doing that kind of introspective reflection for myself as an individual, there is a lot in that about what God might be saying to us as the church at this time. Church can have become more of an activity that we do. There are lots of extra layers that perhaps aren't necessary anymore. And so I think what God might be saying to the church going forwards is actually we need to simplify. What are our values? What do we really stand for as a church? What, is, what are the really key things that we need to keep doing? And what are the things that actually we just don't need to be doing anymore that aren't important, that are a distraction? And how can we really simplify ourselves around those key values that God is asking us to pursue at this time? In terms of the future and the Baptist family, I think that we have seen this begin and I think there is so much more of this, but I really do think that 
there are so many more people who are going to come to know God during this time that there is going to be an outpouring of God's Holy Spirit and we as the Baptist family we need to be ready for that we need to be excited and expectant and praying for what we really believe that God is going to do God is not paused <laughs> during this time God is still moving and so how are we going to be ready for what he's doing now but what he's going to do next as well which I think is going to be even more than what we have seen during this time.